So this is the free motion quilting foot set from Sewing by Sarah. And I'm gonna show you um, how it works and what comes with it. And then I'll show you how to adjust it on your machine. So this is the uh, main foot that attaches, the main ad adapter that attaches to your shank. And this foot right here is actually the free motion quilting foot. It also comes with an echo foot, a ruler foot. So this is for hitting up against your uh, free motion quilting ruler template. And then this is a darning foot. So let's pretend that I'm gonna do some darning and so I'm going to take my free motion quilting foot off and put my darning foot on. So this little screw requires some unscrewing. I'm just loosening it with the screwdriver, but then Take that right off of there and we'll put our darning foot on. And then I'm just going to tighten it a little bit. I'm not going to tight, tighten it super, super, super tight, okay? Because you don't want to strip it and you don't want to scratch up your screw. Okay, so there is my turning foot. Now, you're going to put this on your machine and it may be too low and it's hard to move the fabric around underneath. So what is so amazing about this foot is you can actually adjust it with this screw here so that it goes up or down making it longer or shorter. And I'll just be honest with you, I don't know. Am I making it longer or shorter? I have no idea, but which direction I'm going in. But this is how you can adjust the height of your foot. So let's see how that translates on the sewing machine. All right, let's install our darning foot on our machine. So this is, I actually have a high shank machine that has an, a little S adapter that a little uh, low shank adapter that turns the high shank into a low shank. So I'm just going to install this onto the adapter. And then turn the machine on. Now, whoo, ouch. When I, <laughs> luckily this is on a spring, but when I lower the, the foot, I don't know if you can see that, yeah, but there is no way anybody's gonna move anything around underneath that foot. So let's heighten it, raise it, whatever. Okay, so I'm going up. And now I'm able to move it around. And if I lower my feed dogs, I have even more room to move around. I'll show you. Let me just grab a little. This is not an actual quilt sandwich, but it's a cute little coaster I made. And you can see that I can even lower this if there's too much space. I can lower it. But I really shouldn't have to. I'm just doing this to show you that you can lower that 
and then raise it. And that's how you adjust the height of your convertible free motion quilting foot from the set.